Hi. So, I've been thinking a lot about trauma maxing and trauma dumping lately. And uh, I genuinely feel like the best thing that's going to come out of life is getting to die. But yeah, hi, I'm Diet Cokehead. And if I have to wait to die from natural causes, then so do you. Well, life sucks and it's just going to keep getting worse. And bad things will keep happening because that's just what life is and you don't have any control over it. And it has to be hard. I don't know why. I just know that it has to be. Uh, and once in a blue moon, something okay or cool will happen. But mostly it's just a shithole. I mean, people are bad and that's just how it is. But, I mean, I'm disgruntled with the way that people talk about mental health. Because, like, I do and I don't understand why, why it's a bad idea to talk about mental health on anything ever but it just seems unfair like you're only allowed to talk about mental illness in terms that mentally healthy people are comfortable with and it's not even supposed to be for them it's like we're just a dirty problem that has to be hidden away and if you struggle with like a little bit of anxiety and you thought laying or like just a little bit of depression, you think laying in bed for a week is the worst mental state that you can possibly be in. And I don't mean to like trauma max or minimize your suffering, but you, you're not going to know where I'm coming from. And there's a difference in being somebody who takes care of their problems like that immediately and being the kind of person who feels like a freak and has to hide it from everyone and let these kinds of problems fester. Like, those are two entirely different different levels of mental health, and uh, they need to be understood differently. And what do you do whenever um, what's left for you when your problems are so many and so bad that everybody you know and everybody in your life uh, tells you that you're a bad person and that you're victimizing them for sharing your life experiences? Um, I mean, whenever you're the kind of person that's chronically fucked over, you know, you kind of get into a pattern of it because the people that hurt you seem more normal. And when somebody acts weird and in ways that you aren't used to, you know, being supportive or kind or something, it just seems suspicious. You don't believe it, so you sabotage it. So people who get fucked up by their parents, they kind of get fucked up by everyone else all their lives. And, like, what are you supposed to do? Like, what are you supposed to do what are you, how are you supposed to feel about it when people treat you like it's a crime to talk about your life? And I understand why it upsets people. I mean, there are, in fact, many a charlatan who, like, exploit their suffering and their trauma and their history and stuff for um, monetary gain and for, like, selling products and stuff like that. Uh, so you, and it's such a real and common phenomenon that you really can't blame anybody for being suspicious or hostile towards people that share their struggles. And there certainly is a level of personal responsibility, but where is the line drawn where everyone says, in order to preserve the people who haven't been traumatized that badly, we have to close all these freaks off from the normal people of the world. Like, where's, where are we throwing our hands off and saying, fuck you, you're broken, go to the island of derelict people, you know? And in a sense, it's saying your victimization is victimizing me. And I get that no one should be your personal therapist, but then what happens when every therapist you meet says that you need a higher level of care and that they can't help you? I mean, this is a reality for people, you know? And no one wants you and no one can... and like whenever you're in this situation where no one wants you and then you can't afford the kind of help that you do need, like at what point you have do you have to be the only person who can console or believe in yourself, you know? And that's really hard for somebody who's mentally healthy to do. Most mentally healthy people can't do something without support. And then we're supposed to be the only people that can tell us that we just have to push through it. I mean, like, for a lot of people, there's no way. Um, and I mean, all those things are true, and uh, I totally get why I'm not popular. This video was a bummer, but anyway, um, I wanted, I'm writing out some more stuff for my fetish series. Um, those are kind of picking up traction more than I thought that they would. Uh, I think I'm gonna do a feet one next. Um, 
go down to the subreddit that Cher created. People actually post there. Uh, yeah, it's cool. We're chill. There's a good vibe. Um, anyway, bye.